corner that said they're going to do this for me and, and play manager position and all that, but wasn't trying to fulfill those roles, you know. And, and I mean, I've just seen so many snakes in the grass. Exactly. Said, you know what I mean? I've been doing exactly. this for a couple of years now. Okay. You know what I mean? So I, I definitely understand what you're coming from. My, my question is for both of you. Uh, who or what influenced you to start rapping? Uh, I mean, me personally, like, I've been doing this, like, I feel like, like, you know, how, like, Tiger Woods or Floyd Mayweather, I've been doing this since I was young, you know what I mean? Like, prodigy of this thing, you know what I mean? This is something that, since I was a kid, I used to always, I used to be the one that, you know, um, be freestyling in the ciphers with 30 dudes around you and battling niggas from other neighborhoods and you know what I'm saying? It was just on some freestyle type tip, you know what yeah. it is though. I wasn't even writing my rhymes down up until like later on down the road, you know, because I was just good at remembering, you know, like my rhymes and stuff, you know. But I was just so heavy on the freestyle tip. Okay. So I came out with the cipher. Okay. You know, and then once I started to learn the format as far as getting in the studio and, you know, the, your bars and your hooks and stuff like that, and putting it behind the beat, you know what I mean? It's like, how big you say on the movie, like, okay, this is what I got to do, you know what I mean? And, 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 and then, you know, once you start to hear yourself behind the actual beat, and it's not a nigga in the street beatboxing, you know what I mean, in the cold, you like, yo, this is what's up. And then you just start to perfect your craft, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, I always love rapping and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, collaborating and stuff like that. And I love to collaborate with, you know, it was just dealing with somebody with a different style and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm the type where it's dope. I ain't on my own, on my own horn, you know what okay. I mean? So I give credit where credit is due, okay. you know? So I enjoy, if I do a track with somebody, it ain't just to hear me on the track. Mm -hmm. It's like to hear how that thing come out, you know what I mean? Me and homeboy, and, you know what I'm saying? If it's a girl on there who can spit or whatever the case is, like, yo, psh, this shit hot right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm talking about. And, you know, that's how I've been, you know? And, yeah, it's, it's, it's my passion, man. I mean, I live and die this thing, you know what I mean? This, this, this hip hop thing, you know? Psh, we just getting started, man. Talk to him, G. You know, I, I, I just started rapping like, I would say, probably like five years ago, mm. something like that. Okay. Like, I learned how to rap like three months before I came home from prison. Okay. You know, like I had this, you know, in prison you find so much talent. Oh, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, People yeah, can sing, yeah. draw, rap, yeah. play, play, play ball, yeah. whatever it is. And it, I had a homeboy named Bull. And he, and Look like Michael Jordan, play like Michael Jordan. Wow. He was real. I'm okay. like, well, I ain't in the NBA. Yeah. He was nice, you know what wow. I mean? But he also had another talent, and it was rapping. And we used to walk the compound to the chow hall or whatever, and just me and him, he used to beat on his chest and all that, mm. and start rapping. And I'm like, damn, I wish I could rap. Like, I ain't know nothing about it, but I always had good penmanship, though. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I used to write dudes, girlfriends for him, Write letters to a girlfriend for mm. for Debbie's and, and snack cakes and, and wow. the, the wow. commissary because I was that nice with the pen. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, dudes used to get letters back, cards and all types of stuff. Like, yo, look what my girl wrote me. Yo, thanks. Because wow. my words be so effective. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So one day I wrote something to the dude girl for him. And he was like, yo, you know what? You should put that in a rap. Because it, it was, I guess it was you know, one of the lines, you know what I mean? So I was like, man, I ain't messing with no rap. Yeah. You know what I mean? I play ball. <laughs> I cut hair, I, you know what I mean? Okay. Multi-talented, okay. you know what okay. I mean? But so one day I tried it and it wasn't in the form of a rap. It was like a poem. It was okay. just words that was rhyming, but they was making a lot of sense. You know what I'm saying? So I started doing that, doing, you know, and then when I came home, um, my mother threw me a little party and we was on camera. Okay. Uh, that's my time to shine. Even though I ain't had no delivery, wasn't that nice. It was just like a poem. Okay. And I tried it, but I felt like, you know, if DMX or 50 Cent could rap like that, and I can remember exactly. their raps, why I can't remember my own exactly. rap like that? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So I started rapping. It was sounding kind of stupid for real. 
And as the years went by, I started getting serious with it because um, every time I rap in front of somebody, they be looking at me with this look like, mm. like you got something special. You okay. know what I'm saying? And that's how that started with me. Wow. And I just perfect my craft. Like I be at, at the house just saying the same words over and over. I'm okay. gonna be the first to tell you I don't freestyle. I used to freestyle, but like I lost, me. I, I, lost, <laughs> I mean, like, I lost a me. lot of people in my family, and, and it's and it like it blocked a lot of thoughts. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So I, I write my my music. Okay. You know okay. I, mean? I mean, you know, when we drinking and chilling, fooling around, I might freestyle and still sound good. But uh -huh. I would rather write mine because it's, it leaves no room for any flaws or mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you freestyle, you're going to mess up or, you know, I like to write my music. Okay. So, but that's how I learn how to write. We're we going to take a, we're going to go to a quick break. Um, coming up, we are uh, going to ask the question, uh, over the weekend, we've lost a legend uh the country lost the legend uh nelson Man mandela yeah rest in peace to nelson Mandela. no yes yes and actually let's let's take a moment of silence for uh nelson mandela amen 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 we uh lost a great great man great leader uh over the weekend and coming up, your question, um, how has his legacy of uh, being a great leader, a great man, influenced you in your lives and in your music? Coming up next, we're going to go to this quick break. Don't go nowhere. Right back, live, in the studio, Roundtable Mafia. The my field. man, my man, G Money. G Money. My man, East Coast Capo. Capo. East Coast. Yes, sir. RTM all day. RTM all day. Charlie City Direct Radio Show. I am the man that you all know and love. E Digger, we'll be right back.